Hello campers, welcome back to Camp Imagination News. Today we're going to head down to the new class jewelry making. I hear there's lots of bling involved. Hi, I'm Colin, your field reporter for Camp News. And I'm here at jewelry making with... Jenny. And... Jaden. Alright guys, so while I was in your class, I saw that you guys were making jewelry. Have you guys made any jewelry from Siam? Yeah, we've made bracelets. And? And we're making earrings right now. How very cool. Well, I also saw you guys make something called an open loop. Could you explain how that's made? Sure. We take um, a piece of wire and a tool and we make it into a seven. And then you take the wire and you loop it back to you. All right, so I'm gonna need to hear it again. What do you have to say about it? Um, you take a wire and in your hand and you take your tool and you um, make a seven that's facing away from you and then you take the end of the wire and you uh, loop it towards you. All right, that was very explanatory. Can you guys tell me your favorite jewelry piece that you've made? Probably the bracelet. And you? The bracelet too because it's fun to make and I love all the colors. Oh, well, they must look very beautiful. Back to you in the studio, Joel. Man, those beads sure look cool. So many options and so many designs to make. Thank you, Colin, for the wonderful insight. Now, for our next installment of Siam and I. Today, the flag of Thailand is very symmetrical. It looks like this. And the story goes that the king of Thailand saw the original flag upside down during a flood and to prevent that from ever happening again, he made it symmetrical, which means any way you look at it, it's the exact same. The architecture of Thailand is extremely unique, just like the pieces you'll find in creative expressions. They're using shaving cream, but not shaving. Really, let's go find out what they're doing. On your table? <laughs> oh, look, see you guys already have plans going? Wonderful. Grayson, go ahead and have a seat, okay? I see you already started. Oh, you know what? I really like this paper. You did a really nice job. Hi, it's Colin, your field reporter for Camp News. And I'm here with... Cooper. And... Henry. Well, today in Creative Expressions, I saw you guys were using your old art pieces for something. What exactly was that, Henry? We were um, using them and we were... Um, sorting out which ones we liked best and then we gave them to the teacher and we kept our other ones and then we got to make another one if we wanted to. Oh, how very cool. Well, can you tell me what your favorite art piece was? My favorite art piece was probably the one that we used shaving cream with. Shaving cream? Well, what exactly are you guys using that for, Cooper? Um, we was using that for um, coloring and we use that for that. And my favorite part was the, the paint one. The, you paint it too, you cut it, you need the, 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 so and you want to, the heel and this, and you put the back, you want to make a sturdy die on there, and that's it. Well, Henry, how did you do it? Well, we I did it with um, putting, squirting the shaving cream into a pan and then we put color into it and then I put my paper on it for like five seconds and then pulled it off. And then I used a ruler to scrape off all the extra shaving cream and then we had an art piece on the paper. Wow, sounds very fun. Well, we're gonna get messy down here with shaving cream. Back to you in the studio, Joel. Thanks, Mrs. Jean Ann, for creating such an awesome class. Can't wait to see those art pieces in the atrium on the night of the performance. Today, as a reminder for main and center stage, we're going to have late rehearsal. But sadly, like yesterday, all good things must come to an end, so we're going to end off Camp Imagination News here. Goodbye! <laughs>